Excellencies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. I thank uh, Geneva Center for Human Rights Advancement and Global Dialogue for organizing this important side event. I extend my thanks to the distinguished panelists for their comprehensive presentation. I would like to highlight at the beginning that the situation of Muslims communities in Europe is a very complex theme, especially in this critical moment. We need a multi-sectoral and comprehensive approach to, to study it and come out with a proposal and recommendations to attend the social harmony in the European societies. As mentioned in the remarkable study prepared by Dr. Zidane Mribet and published by the Geneva Center. In this context, I find it appropriate to quote Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, on the occasion of his visit to the Vatican last week, quote, there is a pressing need for stronger cooperation between countries and organizations to formulate policies that promote values of the tolerance and dialogue and constructive communications between civilizations, unquote. Only in this way, we combat the ignorance which led to the rise of Islamophobic racism in many non-Muslim countries. We are proud to mention UAE's success in creating a model of coexistence and tolerance for many nationalities that reside in it, and lately established a ministry for tolerance to promote the spirit of openness and harmony cohabitation. The existing international norms together with the regional and national legal framework should be the basic tools mm -hmm. to combat intolerance, negative stereotyping, stigmatization, discrimination, incitement to violence and violence against persons based on religion or belief. The freedom of that and belief as well as cultural and social liberty should be more respected. In this context, Muslims in Europe societies should be more proactive by participating positively in the economic, social, and cultural activities in the host countries in order to encourage understanding between the different entities in the society. On the other hand, states should facilitate this process. In, this, in the same line, media and civil society on both sides have a vital role in promoting the principle of tolerance, multi multiculturalism, and coexistence. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I wish a fruitful and enriching outcome for our discussion and deliberation to establish guidelines for future action. I thank you.